Hey everyone, it's uh, Connor back from this old farm, and uh, today is Friday. It is the first day of the Now Then Threshing Show. Um, it we are going to be going up there today. We're bright and early. It's like almost 6:30 in the morning. Uh, the gates open at seven o'clock, so we're gonna go up there, we're gonna have breakfast and stuff, and we're gonna, then we're gonna get going and view a bunch of things, um, I gotta pick up a friend before we head up there, but that's no biggie, and then we'll get to, get to looking around, excuse me, so, I'm gonna, get uh, some things cleaned up here I got a bunch of stuff in the passenger seat that I gotta move so um, and then we can take off so uh, once I get that done we're gonna head out and hopefully be not early <laughs> and uh, if we are no big deal so we'll see you at the showgrounds all right, everyone, so we made it to the showgrounds. Uh, let me get across the street or the little road here and uh, show you what's going on. So, uh, here we are. We're the, it's the Ramsey Relics crew again. We brought a hay wagon again for hay rides. And then we've got this nice, great big tent this year to keep us out of the sun and stuff. And uh, we had to come quick stake this down last night actually because with these big stakes and some thick rope here Because there was some pretty supposed to be some pretty strong winds last night, so um, Let all this drop So we tied that down just to make sure that that didn't fly away and we got our grill here for cooking um, And then we've got the big crew of tractors we got Kenny Kizzle on the YouTubes here, Case SC, another group member is Case SC, uh, some H's, that would be Austin's there, Austin's friends, G, here's our crew, our H with the cultivators, ZM Diesel, and then the Alice Chalmers Gleaner again, as, same as last year. Um, and then we have the groups, tractors, Massey, 40 33 here and another group member 70 and then if we go over to the other side over here this is Brigham's who has helped me a lot thank you uh, his B here's mr. Kenny Kizzle's f20 another tractor Brigham's and Alice Chalmers WD I believe and then Tony's AR so that's the group and as you can see there's a lot of tractors here already and there'll be plenty more to come tomorrow I'm sure too so we're gonna since we're here bright and early seven o'clock we are going to first get something to eat and then we are going to um, get going and take a look at stuff and whatnot and get some good video so we will talk to you guys all in a little while once we get to our first event we're out here now then it's me and connor and i'm sorry i forgot your name already warren warren <laughs> warren we're out here now then connor's filming i'm filming this old farm and kenny yep. kizzle's channel but we're gonna do some walking around get some some video of uh tractors and what's going on and go from there yep all right guys so like Kenny said we're gonna do a little bit of a walk around here um, I already showed you the, the group tractors here so we'll just show you the rest of the stuff over here on this side we'll walk up and down the rows and uh, look at everything
That one there just came in this morning, just now. I gotta figure out how he uses this blade here. Oh, he uses the three-point arms. Interesting. Hmm. Neat. Sweet. <laughs> Tennis ball for the exhaust plug, that's funny.
Morning. Head back up, we'll catch those two up there that are facing uh, this way, and then we'll check out the the feature tent. Kind of the new and the old, sort of like I think they had that with the caterpillars last year too, the new and the old. And some little itty bitty guys here with the wards as well. So I think now what we'll do is we'll head over to the little um, lawnmowers and putt-putt engines area here and check out what's over here. A lot of these are still covered up after uh, last night's rain that we got to keep them protected so they'll start this morning. Morning.
come over to Steamer's Row here too and check out the steam engines. Get right up close to them too, sort of. Started. The parade's slowly moving, and we have Christian Stanky on the back, on the or on the H, driving that for me like he did last year. And uh, yeah, we're just slowly making our way. Eventually, we'll be way up, way up there to the parade. And uh, yeah, we'll just make our way back there. I won't film a whole. I won't film like I did last year all the way around until. I'll wait till I get up to the top, sort of up to the main drag, and then I'll film. So we'll see you there.
Okay, so now that we are done with the parade, we're gonna go watch it. Um, because the one the one downfall of being in the parade means you don't get to watch the parade. So we've missed some of it, but we're gonna try and watch a little bit of it. Uh, if you live here uh, nearest the place, there's a channel called QC TV. Um, and after that is number 40. And that's, this is the 1936 I think they filmed this or put it on the television for a couple of years now. So next year, if you guys aren't able to get here, turn on the TV and uh, you can watch after it. After that, we got unit number so 47. This is the 1953 We're almost up here to the pavilion. Owned by watch Joe it. And operated by Lisa Berg. Watch the rest of the parade and then we'll the see what we can strength. do afterwards. Number 40, this is a 1948 model WF Alice Chalmers, owned by Ricky Brand, written by the Brand family. After that, we have number 269, this is a 1948 Massey Harris 22, owned and operated by Ronald Wetter. Of course, Massey Harris and Massey Ferguson are featured tractors this year. Look at that, he's got the sawmill on it and everything. He's ready to go. After that, we have unit number 209. This is a 1954 Ford NAA, owned and operated by Ed Wetterstrom. Well, number 278 is a perfect example of do it yourself. That's exactly how they did it back in the Great Depression. Yeah. And of course, this is a 1931 Chevrolet with a Ward Montgomery tractor kit. Owned by Ted Mars, and driven by Ted Mars. And if you think about this, scratch your head a little bit of this. It's a tractor kit in those days it was still probably delivered by horse and wagon. After that, we've got number 157. This is the 1941 Case Model SC, owned and operated by Ken Christopherson. Model WD45. 
owned by Gary Miller and operated by Tim. After that, we have unit number 21. This is a 1949 Alice Chalmers, owned and operated by Ellie Murphy. After that, we have unit number 51. This is a 1945 Formal Model H, owned and operated by Lyle Heil. Is it Heil or Heel? Heil, he says. Ohio Vile. <laughs> I'm moving on. Number 22. <laughs> yeah. um, number 22, this is a 1955 Ford Model 600. Kenneth Brum is the owner, and Matthew Andrews is the driver. And we know this guy, he's a club regular. I know this guy, Robert Newman, he's out there with his 55 model, Alice Chalmers WD-45, even got the radio. <laughs> <laughs> and the horn. Bob, you have something new every year. After that, we have number 287. This is a 1944 John Deere Model B, owned and operated by Scott Friedel. Look at this beauty, Jesse. We know what this one is. This is the car that literally made America. You got that right. Get it. 249, a 1915 Ford Model T. This is owned and operated by Dave Pomerloo. That is beautiful, Dave. The Tin Lindsay, ladies and gentlemen. Number 312, this is the 19, well actually there's no year on there. It's like it's about uh, mid 50s, early 60s era, John Year Model 620. Owned by Caden Alkire and driven by Caden. Quite the collection there with 184. Uh, 1948 Farmall Cup towing a trailer with a moldboard plow and leveling greater blade. It's like he's got a stationary John Deere engine generator on there too. Number 182, this is a 1948 Alice Shomer's Model G. Owned by Ted Erickson, driven by Mike. George, it is George! 
after that we have number 217, this is a 1941 Formal Model M, also owned by George Waycon. This is a 1951 John Deere Model A, owned by and driven by Leon Wagonot. Hey, Leon. Number. And up next, we have number 247. This one is very special. This is a 1940 John Deere Model D. When it goes by, you're going to see that it's a little bit different color than what you'd expect from a John Deere. Uh, but this tractor is in memory of Manny Wagnon, who uh, sadly passed away at the age of 19 in 2013. So this one is called the Pride of Manny. So when you get a chance to check this one out, uh, in memory of Manny Wagnon, owned and operated by Patty. Patty, her mom, of course, driving her daughter's tractor. Manny, we miss you. And after that, we have unit 349. This is a turbo diesel golf cart. Great Scott, what is this? And it has a flamethrower, which that's my favorite part, right? So check that out. Blow some fire out. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. You, got this, you gotta be roasting marshmallows off the back. <laughs> Get the ball warm, she says. After that, we have number 289. This is a 1935 Moline Twin City KCA, owned by Kirby Olson and operated by Grant Olson. There you go, nothing fancy, just power. Hey, hey a tractor pulling mountain. Yes, you are, you can't deny it. We've got unit number 195. This is a 1946 John Deere model AR, owned by Jake and Amanda Wilhelm. I think that's being operated by Maggie today. She's doing a good job driving that one. That she is. Hold up, 140, hold up. 140, this is a 1925 McCormick Jerry, 1530, owned by Jake and Kelly Kohler.
After that, we have unit number 285. This is a 1941 Farmall Model H, owned by Gerald and Clay Sweet, operated by Clay today. Uh -oh. Got a little uh, breakdown here, if we could get a, a tow strap here. Looks like we're on our way.
that, we have unit number 163. This is a 1951 Club All model MP, owned and operated by the Andy family. And after that, we have a 1948 Matthew Harris model number 22. This is unit number 63. Owned and operated by, or owned by Greg and Gary Anderson and operated by, is it Randy or Barry? One of the two. everybody it's uh getting to be that time of the night it is time to hook up the avery steam engine the one that was on the bottom of the i believe kansas river i can't remember what river it is now but um it was at the bottom of a river they pulled it out restored it and uh now it's time for the quote-unquote fireworks show threshing show style so they are Right now, hooking it up to the pulling sled, getting it ready to pull down the. I'm shutting off the lights.
Vila. Well, that is going to be it for day one of the Now Then Threshing Show. Um, there isn't a whole lot more that goes on now. It's about 10 o'clock-ish, probably more like 9.30. And that's usually the tractor pulls are the last thing that happens for the night. And so we're going we're gonna to probably pack up. Well, we don't necessarily have to pack up, but we'll probably get things sort of settled to be ready for the night and then head off to bed so I'm gonna say my goodbyes for today uh, we'll make separate videos for each day just like we did last year so uh, this will be the goodbye for today's video or for this video and then we'll talk to you guys all in the next one which will be the next day so thanks for watching Hopefully you enjoyed, and we'll talk to you all next time.